Hi, it's me, the guy you're about to watch in a video, which honestly, I don't know why you're doing that, but thanks. And also a huge thank you to all of the names on the screen right now. These are all of my patrons, all of my Patreon supporters, and without them, I couldn't do what I do. So massive thank you. Please check out my Patreon if you feel like it. But other than that, enjoy the video. Hey yo, it's Damo, and uh, I've got a big box. Do you want to touch my big box? You could probably fit inside my big box. If you want to get inside my big box, you're welcome to get inside my big box. Fill up my big box, baby. Fill it. Uh, basically, it, inside this big box is, um, well, a bunch of shit, really. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry, Lady Gaga. I didn't mean to ever call you shit. I love you. I'm going to marry you still. I'm sorry, Icky. It can be a three-way relationship, but it's up to her. Isn't she sickening? Isn't she literally, like, dying of some sort of debilitating disease? I really hope she's not. Basically, this right here, this uh, pile of shit, is one of a few memory boxes, as I call them, and it's got things that are important to me that aren't really important, if that makes any sense. It's all things that have a lot of sentimental of... Sentimental? Sentimental! Oh, fuck, 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 box. Fuck. I thought that was gonna eat me. <laughs> anyway, this is a bunch of stuff that has no real value, but has a lot of sentimental value to me. Uh, so it's uh, random pictures, random badges from events that I've saved, photos, and like small trinkets and shit that friends have given me. So I thought, uh, since I cleaned out my everything, cleaned out my entire life recently, if you wanted to see that, there's a video of it right here. This is just an example of it. You'll probably need to click it in the description because I don't know if annotations are still a thing. I don't think they are. But anyway, I cleaned out my entire life, threw away way more than half of my stuff, donated a bunch of clothes and everything. It feels amazing. I love actually knowing where my shit is and not having to dig through like 50 fucking Tamagotchis that I'm never gonna use just to find the right cable. It's pretty nice. So uh, yeah, we're gonna go through this, we're gonna talk about some memories, we're gonna have a chill time. If you're in for that, then... Oh, you taste so good. <laughs> right, so let's start with the CDs. I've got four whole compact discs. Not as compact as an MP3 file, mind you, but... Compact enough. So I have two of Lady Gaga's albums. I've got The Fame Monster and The Fame. Uh, I fucking love Gaga. Honestly, I don't know why I don't have more of her albums, but I think she's one of the only people I bother to get a physical copy of the stuff. The stuff. And then I've got this boy here. This is, um, is this an EP? Is it an album? What is it? I don't know what the difference is. This is a CD with music on it from my friend Griff. It's got music on it. He's an Australian musician and he's absolutely phenomenal. I love his stuff. I'm gonna link it in the description below, so please check it out. Like. Damn, he good, bitch. And my last CD, I swear to God, Jake, I have actually opened this and listened to it. I just put it back in here to protect it. But uh, this is from my friend Jake. He is also a phenomenal musician. He's from the UK. And I don't know if he has like a link to all his stuff where you can listen to it, but I'm gonna hit him up for it. And if he does, that'll be in the description below. Beautiful guitarist, like fantastic singer, lovely drag queen too, and just an all round, all round lovely person. Love you, Jake, baby. Yeah, check him out, boy. This is a photo album with white out on the back. Oh, bitch. Oh, these are old. How, what age am I? I think I'm like four, if that. Bitch, these are old. Who are you? So this is me uh, at the age of, I think, four. Uh, sitting on some wood pallets, looking real perturbed, just preparing for my future of being in the furry fandom, basically. If you didn't know I'm in the furry fandom, now you do. So this is actually my grandpa and a girl called Ali, who was my first ever girlfriend, because apparently I needed a girlfriend at the age of four. I was a fucking player. Don't know what happened to that, but I used to have a lot of relationships and Ali was my first one. We went to the same preschool or something. And uh, yeah. Then it stopped. <laughs> Hi, Ali. Hope you're good. And this here is a pumpkin in a wetsuit. So this is while we were building the shed in our backyard and I didn't ever wear shoes, apparently. Like, there were probably nails on the floor. What was I doing? Fucking tough, bitch. I'm fucking tough. Don't fight me, I'm Australian. I touch spiders for fun. And then there's more, but they're honestly all so terrible after that, you can't see what's going on. So that'll do for that. Precious memories. This is a box of lanyards. 
actually not even that many. I thought I had more in here. This box is full of, uh... Let's find out. This is just random shit that I've ended up with after conventions and stuff. Got a bunch of combat just um, which is cool. <laughs> then I got a bunch of business cards that people threw at me. Not all of these were thrown at me because sometimes when I go to conventions, I like to go to the dealer's den, steal a whole stack of business cards from random artists and then just attack people with business cards, basically. Uh, that sounds very irresponsible, but it's me trying to get artists that promo, I swear. And like, that's mostly it in that box. Hey, get back in. Get back in. This is my VidCon box. Pretty much the exact same as the last box, but not for furry conventions, for VidCon conventions. VidCon conventions, YouTube conventions, which is pretty much just VidCon, at least for me anyway. Wah! For those of you who don't know, I've actually been invited to VidCon Australia two years in a row as a featured creator, which is fucking insane. Um, I've been a, a featured creator at all the Australian VidCons. Shit. And both times, oh, goodbye. And both times were absolutely fantastic. I was really blown away by the event itself, how well put together it was, and how well they treated both the guests and the attendees. And it was just, VidCon's a fucking good time. At least the Australian one is anyway. I got like a little wristband for some exclusive YouTube party. It's like real faded, like me, I wish. And uh, this is the name tag for s the only YouTube party I was invited to actually. I don't know why YouTube fucking hates me, but they have regular parties in Sydney and I am never invited except this one time. And I don't know what I did to stop getting invited. <laughs> This is a very small collection of photos. I don't know why it has its own box. Seems pretty redundant, but I did it. This is not really organized at all. This is just small photo box. That's all this is. Oh my God, there's some old bitches in here. So firstly, I'm gonna start with the stuff from my uh, time in America when I was touring with the Ringling Brothers Circus. I have a few little photos in here from that. So here it is. I'm pretty sure this is from when I was in Chicago. This is Angie in the middle and this is Connor. Uh, Angie was Ukrainian, Connor was from the US. And I fucking love these two. We all went and got tattoos together in Chicago. And then I'm pretty sure the tattoo studio that we went to actually had a photo booth in the parlor which was fucking cool, so that's that. This is also in Chicago. This is when we went to the top of the sky deck. No, what? We went to the sky deck, which is at the top of the Willy Tower, the Willis Tower. <laughs> and this one's from Hershey Park. I don't know how well you can see it, but uh, most people are kind of shitting themselves. And then Danny and I are essentially brain dead. That's how I like to do roller coasters. This is Danny, by the way. And then these are all really small, so I can't really hold them up to the camera, but here's a bunch of tiny photo booth pictures that I used to take with my friends when we had nothing better to do but to go to late night shopping. I was a scene kid before scene kids were a thing, and then I was a scene kid when scene kids were a thing. <laughs> ha! Ha! Here's the big shit! This is my high school certificate. I don't even know why I bothered keeping this. It's like the equivalent of the the thing, you know, the last thing, SATs, I don't know what it is. The last thing you do in high school and you get like a mark. This is that for Australia. I don't even know why I kept it. I'm a fucking dancer. Ain't nobody asking to see that. Spent 13 years getting that piece of paper and it's never been shown to anyone until now. Thank you for making most of my life worth it. VidCon program. <laughs> Am I in here? Where's last year's? The shit did I do with that? The fuck? Oh. Well, all right then. Here's the program for the circus I was in. This is uh, from 2015 when I was touring with the Ringling Brothers and Barnum and Bailey Circus in Circus Extreme. Uh, this groovy chick right here. I, I've never called anyone a groovy chick in my life. I'm trying to show you Gemma. This is Gemma. Hi, Gemma. Gemma and I have matching tattoos. That one. We got it in Colorado. She was a human cannonball of the show and she was fucking sick. But yeah, this is, uh, this is the program. Is this the one I got signed or is this the blank one? I believe this is the blank one. Damn, I'm so shit at keeping my memories. <laughs> I'm in here somewhere, I swear. There's my head in the corner there. It's not even worth focusing on. There is a better picture of me, I swear. Hello. Ah, here it is. This one that everybody's in. <laughs> I look so fucking ripped in this photo. It is ridiculous. Like, look at this shit. What the fuck? I didn't even know my arms were that big until I saw that photo. And then I was like, oh. I guess lifting a bunch of bitches above my head daily does me some good. That's enough of that though. I got these two big cards, both from YouTube inviting me to parties at VidCon though. I have to be invited to VidCon before YouTube invites me to a party and even then they forget as soon as VidCon's over. Thanks YouTube. 
I love that you're my job. This right here is a certificate for winning the Arimba Lizaro RSL Junior Talent Search. And uh, it was just some talent quest at my local club pub thingy, and I won a thousand dollars and a Wii package thing. Like, it was actually a fucking good prize. <laughs> I just entered with some dance solos and everyone was like, damn, a boy can dance? Give him that prize. Here are two programs from uh, Cirque du Soleil shows I've seen. I have seen more than this. However, the programs are fucking expensive. <laughs> so I've only got two. This is my certificate. For graduating my full-time performing arts course. There's now foundation on the back of it. Basically, There's nothing actually else to say about this. I, I did a full-time dance course for a year and it also included other performing arts and I, I passed. Here's a bunch of photos I can't really be bothered going through because uh, it will take a lot of time and I've already been filming for almost an hour. <laughs> but I will pick my favorite thing in this entire folder to show you, which is this. Uh, hold on, this. Now you may be thinking, what the actual fuck is that? And that's, that's very fair. What this is, is a drawing my friend Nat did of my sister Corinne while she was sitting on the couch. And it looks like she's picking a toe, but she's actually using her phone. And honestly, this is art at its finest. And I am so happy he gave this to me. <laughs> then we got like a little box of little trinkety things. So let's quickly go through that before we wrap the video up. I've got another two boxes sitting on my bed. So if you do want me to do those, I can do them in another video. Let me know down in the comments. Uh, but yeah, let's, let's go through this shit. This is a little bracelet that says Disco. Friend gave it to me at a con. Live for it. I actually hate Disco. But it's blue, so it's fine. Ah, I forgot about this. This is actually a VidCon slap bracelet from VidCon 2015 in Anaheim, America. Oh, that was so satisfying. I nearly came. I remember killing time at VidCon while we were waiting for something by standing near a door and throwing these at the door to see if we could get it to wrap around the door handle. It was way more fun than it should have been. Here's a little dinosaur. Here's a little dinosaur. Pretty sure Emma got me this. It's fucking adorable. What's he made out of? Petrified wood or something, I think? I don't know. He heavy though, he thick. This is a key uh, I accidentally stole from a hotel. Like it's a legitimate key for a hotel in LA that I stayed in right before a PR that I had at like 5 a.m. in the morning for the circus the next day. So they put me up in this hotel and it was this really nice, like fancy old one in the middle of downtown LA. And there's actually a vlog in that hotel somewhere, but it's just fucking cute. And it says fig on it. Cause I think the, the hotel was called like the fig. Figarella or something like uh, some, some shit like that. This is actually a little fake rose that someone gave to me at this year's VidCon and they said they were giving it to me for luck with all my future travels and endeavors and stuff. So thank you very much. I told you I would keep it. It's very kept, very kept. Here's a bunch of Game Boy Color games. We got the Rugrats movie, Pokemon Silver, Pokemon Gold, Game Boy Gallery 3, A Bug's Life. <laughs> my card filled up halfway through my sentence. Rude. But uh, the last two games were Super Mario Land and Turok Seeds of Evil. My seed's pretty evil too. <laughs> then we got this gorgeous picture of my cousin that I took once on a Polaroid cut out and put in this little photo frame I got in a Christmas cracker. I just love it. There's a little penguin in here. Uh, I do I don't know who gave this to me. I just remember it was from somewhere in America. Someone went to one of those vending machines, got a little blue penguin and thought that I needed it. They weren't wrong. This is a little tiger's eye inside like this weird spirally cage thing. So you can wear it as like a necklace or put on a keychain or something. I got this uh, when I went on a camping trip with my friends right before I moved to the US for a year. And this was like kind of my memory of my last big event trip thing with my friends. So I took this all around America with me and and now it lives in a box. My boyfriend's trying to call me. So I just pretty much finished my video and realized that I didn't press record. So let's do it again. <laughs> so here we have the last two items in the box. Coins. Flat ones. Flat coins. Coins that are flat. They weren't always flat. I did this. 
Kind of. You know those little machines that you put coins in and it's like, oh, do the crank and then you get the doodly doo 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 I did that. <laughs> this one's from San Francisco, which I visited while I was on the circus. And while I was there, my mum and grandma actually came to meet up with me and we went to this cool arcade thing and there was a machine to do the thing with the coin and we did it. And it was a fucking great time. I have really fond memories of San Francisco because it's the first time in a very long time I've been anywhere international with any of my family members. So it was really fucking fun. Yeah, and this one's from Chicago. And I don't actually remember getting it, so there's no real story behind this one, just that it's from Chicago. I like Chicago. Shit, where did I throw that? That was so dumb. Did I throw it in the bin? Now I gotta go through my whole bin. It, it was in my bin. My bin has a lid. How? So that's it for this video. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, if you would like more of this, maybe you should check out my live streams. I do them every Monday through to Friday at 4 p.m. Sydney time, 5 a.m. London time, and then late in America from like 11 to 12, depending on where you live, or 9 to 12, depending on where you live. Something like that. You can Google it if you want to know the time, but Monday through to Friday, I stream every day. Link is in the description for my live streams because it's not here on YouTube because I use a website that actually helps me make money crazy that I should want to get paid for my time. But also, I love fucking streaming, so if you guys want to come hang out with me, that would be awesome! Um... That's what it sounds like when I jizz. Also, just in case you didn't notice, I took a bit of a break from YouTube. I wasn't very consistent for a very long time there, but I am back now. I'm trying to be consistent. I'm trying to get up one channel, one channel, one video on this channel a week. So let me know in the com... English. So let me... <laughs> so, let me know in the comments below what type of content you'd like to see from me, actually, because I, I don't know. Because a lot of you subscribe for a lot of different reasons, because I've gone through many phases on this channel. If you want to see sexuality content, mental health content, story times, daily vlogs, makeup tutorials, reviews on random shit, more stuff like this, like, whatever. Seriously, just let me know what kind of content. If you have any specific ideas you want to see me do, let me know, because I'm here to please. Mostly. Yeah, right, that's actually it for this video. So thank you very much for watching. I will see you in the next one. I hope you enjoyed this one. But until then, fuck off. <laughs>